Welcome to Stoic Code. Today, we're diving into a critical topic, ways to recognize envy and falsehood in others. In a world full of hidden motives and unspoken intentions, it's vital to know how to spot the signs of envy and deception. We'll break down timeless strategies to help you stay sharp, protect your peace, and make wise decisions. Stick around for insights that can transform your understanding of human behavior and don't forget to subscribe to the Stoic Code channel. Join our community of thinkers and high achievers on the journey to wisdom and clarity. 1. Unnatural praise and backhanded compliments. One of the most subtle signs of envy is when someone praises you, but something about it feels off. Envy is often cloaked in false admiration because people want to appear supportive while secretly harboring resentment. This is where you'll often encounter backhanded compliments, those seemingly kind words that carry an undertone of negativity. For example, someone might say, wow, you actually did a great job on this project, as if they were expecting you to fail. Or they might say, you're so lucky to have achieved that, downplaying the effort you put in. These remarks may not seem harmful at first glance, but when you start noticing a pattern, they can be a telltale sign of underlying envy. To recognize this type of falsehood, pay attention to the consistency of the person's behavior. Do they always follow their praise with a slight jab? Do their compliments leave you feeling uneasy, as if you're being undermined rather than uplifted? Envy reveals itself in these moments of duplicity. What's exciting about uncovering these signs is that you'll develop a keener emotional intelligence. You start seeing through the facade that envious people put up, and with time, it becomes easier to spot these inconsistencies in real time. Understanding this allows you to protect yourself from their emotional influence. The power of this awareness isn't just about avoiding negativity, it's about gaining control over who has access to your mental space. When you become adept at recognizing false praise, you can more carefully choose who you let into your inner circle. Another useful tip is to respond to backhanded compliments with calm assertiveness. Instead of reacting emotionally, say something like, thanks, I worked hard on that. This puts the focus back on your efforts and doesn't allow the envious person to control the narrative. Over time, they may stop trying to undermine you or at least reveal their true colors. Being able to recognize these subtle signs is a valuable skill in both personal and professional settings. It helps you navigate relationships with a sense of clarity and prevents you from falling into emotional traps that can derail your progress. Two, over-critical attitude. An over-critical attitude is a powerful indicator of envy, often disguised as constructive criticism. When someone constantly questions your choices or undermines your abilities, it can leave you feeling unsure and defensive. This behavior usually stems from their insecurities, projecting their feelings of inadequacy onto you. Consider a scenario where you share a success, perhaps a promotion at work or an achievement in your personal life. Instead of celebrating with you, a colleague responds with pointed questions. Are you sure you're ready for that role? Or, I thought the project could have been done differently. These comments can sting, especially when you're looking for support. What they reveal, however, is a deeper emotional struggle within the critic themselves. In Stoicism, we are encouraged to maintain our peace of mind in the face of criticism. Rather than reacting defensively, take a moment to reflect. Is there any validity in what they're saying? Can it help you grow? If not, it's essential to dismiss their negativity and not let it disturb your equilibrium. This ability to analyze criticism objectively empowers you to differentiate between helpful feedback and malicious intent. Marcus Aurelius taught that the best response to wrongs is not to mirror the behavior of those who wish to harm us. 
by choosing to rise above, you not only protect your emotional well-being, but also demonstrate resilience. Over time, this practice fosters a strong sense of self-assurance. You'll find that with every piece of unwarranted criticism you navigate, your confidence in your abilities solidifies further. Engaging in self-reflection is a core Stoic principle. After receiving criticism, ask yourself, does this align with my values? Am I on the right path? This level of introspection can reinforce your self-belief and lessen the impact of envious remarks. It's about cultivating a fortress of self-worth that isn't easily shaken by the opinions of others. Ultimately, confronting overcritical attitudes with calmness and reason can turn a potentially damaging interaction into an opportunity for personal growth. By remaining steadfast in your principles, you become an example for others, encouraging a culture of constructive support rather than envious competition. 3. Subtle Sabotage One of the more insidious manifestations of envy is subtle sabotage. This can take various forms, such as spreading rumors, offering misleading advice, or intentionally creating obstacles in your path. Envious individuals often present themselves as allies, cloaking their true intentions behind a friendly facade, making it all the more challenging to detect their actions. Imagine working on a collaborative project where a team member consistently helps you but always seems to lead you astray. They might offer suggestions that sound reasonable but end up complicating your work. Initially, you might attribute these mistakes to simple misunderstandings. However, if you notice a consistent pattern, it may be time to reassess their role in your success. To navigate the complexities of subtle sabotage, keep a watchful eye on your interactions. Are there moments when their help leaves you feeling frustrated or confused? Take note of these instances and consider whether their advice aligns with your goals. By becoming more aware of these dynamics, you empower yourself to take control of your narrative. When you recognize someone's sabotaging behavior, it's crucial to remain composed. Responding emotionally can give them the upper hand. Instead, maintain your focus on your objectives and seek support from trusted allies who genuinely want to see you succeed. Documenting instances of sabotage can also be beneficial. This not only provides clarity, but also equips you with evidence should you need to address the issue with others. Furthermore, set clear boundaries with individuals who exhibit these behaviors. Politely decline their input and instead seek guidance from people who have demonstrated consistent support for your growth. Surrounding yourself with positive influences will create an environment where you can thrive. By honing your ability to identify subtle sabotage, you not only safeguard your own progress, but also become a beacon of wisdom for others. Sharing your experiences can help create awareness, encouraging a culture of authenticity and trust. In the end, navigating these challenges with clarity and strength will not only bolster your personal journey, but also inspire those around you to rise above envy and deception. 4. Excessive Flattery Excessive flattery is often a red flag when it comes to recognizing envy and falsehood in others. While compliments can be genuine expressions of admiration, when they become over the top or feel insincere, they may be a sign of ulterior motives. Individuals who flatter excessively often do so to manipulate or gain something from you, rather than out of true appreciation for your qualities or achievements. Imagine you've just completed a major project at work. Instead of receiving straightforward feedback, a colleague bombards you with lavish praise. You're the best at this. No one could ever match your brilliance. Initially, you might bask in the glow of their words, but if it feels excessive and unearned, it's essential to take a step back and assess the situation. Often, this kind of flattery comes with strings attached, whether it's an expectation of favors 
or an attempt to undermine your confidence by making you question the authenticity of other feedback. In the realm of Stoicism, it's crucial to cultivate a discerning mind. When faced with excessive flattery, consider the source and their intentions. Ask yourself, is this person genuinely supportive or are they trying to gain something from me? A true friend or colleague will provide honest feedback, both positive and negative, rather than solely showering you with compliments. To counter the effects of excessive flattery, focus on building relationships with individuals who appreciate you for who you are, not just for what you can offer them. Engage in open conversations where constructive criticism is welcomed. This creates an environment of trust where genuine appreciation can thrive. Additionally, practice self-reflection. Recognize your own worth, independent of external validation. When you're grounded in your self-awareness, you become less susceptible to the influence of flattery. Embrace your strengths and acknowledge your areas for growth without relying on the opinions of others. This stoic approach helps cultivate resilience, allowing you to navigate social dynamics with clarity. When you encounter flattery, respond with gratitude, but maintain your emotional distance. A simple thank you acknowledges their words without becoming overly reliant on them for your self-esteem. This balanced approach empowers you to engage with others while protecting your inner peace. Ultimately, understanding the dynamics of excessive flattery not only shields you from falsehood, but also fosters an environment where authenticity can flourish. By being aware of these social cues, you contribute to a culture of honesty, encouraging others to express their true feelings rather than masking them with insincere praise. In this way, you lead by example, promoting genuine relationships built on mutual respect and understanding. 5. Downplaying your success One of the more insidious signs of envy is when someone consistently downplays or undermines your achievements. This can manifest through subtle comments, sarcastic remarks, or even backhanded compliments designed to diminish the significance of your hard work. The envious individual often attempts to bring you down to their level, reflecting their insecurities rather than any flaws in your accomplishments. Imagine you've just landed a significant promotion at work. Instead of celebrating your success, a colleague remarks, it's not that big of a deal, anyone could have done it. Such comments can sting, especially when they come from someone you considered a friend or ally. This behavior not only chips away at your confidence, but also highlights the underlying jealousy they harbor. Stoicism teaches us to remain indifferent to the opinions of others, especially when those opinions are rooted in envy. Recognizing this behavior is crucial. A true friend celebrates your successes, while someone motivated by envy feels threatened by them. When faced with this downplaying, Consider the source and their motivations. Often, their attempts to belittle your achievements are more a reflection of their own unhappiness and feelings of inadequacy than of your worth. In navigating these interactions, it's essential to maintain your focus on personal growth and self-improvement. Rather than engaging with the negativity, take the high road by acknowledging their comment without allowing it to affect your self-worth. For example, you might respond with, I appreciate your perspective, but I worked hard for this achievement. This response acknowledges their comment while reinforcing your confidence. Furthermore, surrounding yourself with supportive individuals can create a buffer against envious behavior. Seek out those who uplift you and celebrate your milestones. Building a network of positive influences reinforces your belief in your abilities and achievements. Another stoic principle to embrace is the focus on what is within your control. You cannot control how others perceive your success or how they react to it. What you can control is your response. By choosing to stay grounded in your values and self-belief, 
you empower yourself to rise above the negativity. In the long run, downplaying your success is a tactic that can backfire for those who engage in it. As you continue to grow and achieve, your resilience will shine through, serving as a testament to your character and determination. Remember, true success lies not only in external validation, but in the personal journey you undertake and the values you uphold along the way. 6. Noticing Excessive Competition Excessive competition is another glaring sign of envy. Those who are envious often view life as a zero-sum game, where their primary goal is to outdo everyone around them, including you. This mindset can lead to toxic behaviors such as sabotaging your efforts, stealing your ideas, or perpetually trying to one-up you in conversations. Consider the scenario where you and a colleague are both vying for a promotion. Instead of collaborating or supporting each other, this colleague goes out of their way to undermine your contributions. They might take credit for your ideas or spread rumors to diminish your reputation. Such behaviors stem from a deep-seated insecurity and an overwhelming need to validate their worth through competition. From a stoic perspective, it's crucial to recognize that their excessive need to compete speaks more about their inner turmoil than your abilities. Marcus Aurelius wisely noted, the soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. When someone is preoccupied with besting you, it's often their own fears and inadequacies that drive their actions. To navigate this competitive environment, focus on your growth and accomplishments rather than getting drawn into their negative energy. Remember, as Epictetus said, it's not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matters. By maintaining your composure and striving for personal excellence, you not only protect your peace of mind, but also set a positive example for others. Engaging in healthy competition can be beneficial, but when it crosses into toxicity, it becomes a hindrance. Instead of mirroring their competitive spirit, channel your energy into self-improvement and collaboration. Seek out allies who share your values and aspirations, fostering a supportive environment where everyone can thrive. It's also essential to set boundaries. If someone's competitive behavior becomes overwhelming, don't hesitate to distance yourself from them. Surround yourself with individuals who celebrate your successes rather than seek to undermine them. This shift in focus will not only enhance your well-being, but also encourage a more positive and collaborative atmosphere. In essence, excessive competition is a reflection of envy that can manifest in various detrimental ways. By staying true to your values and focusing on personal growth, you can rise above the pettiness, fostering an environment of mutual respect and success. Remember, true strength lies in your ability to navigate these challenges with grace and integrity. 7. Observing Subtle Sabotage Subtle sabotage is one of the more challenging signs of envy to identify, as it often masquerades as friendly support. This insidious behavior can manifest in various ways, such as spreading rumors, providing misleading advice, or deliberately introducing obstacles into your path. Those engaging in subtle sabotage often wear a mask of friendliness, making it difficult to discern their true intentions. Imagine you're working on a critical project and a colleague frequently offers helpful advice that ultimately leads to confusion and delays. At first, you might appreciate their input, but as the situation unfolds, you begin to realize that their suggestions are more harmful than helpful. This scenario illustrates how subtle sabotage can undermine your progress while leaving the saboteur looking innocent. Marcus Aurelius emphasizes the importance of being cautious of those who outwardly display friendliness yet harbor ill intentions. Observing patterns of behavior is crucial for identifying those who consistently hinder your progress. If someone's actions repeatedly lead to setbacks, 
it's essential to take note of the potential underlying motivations. To combat subtle sabotage, it's vital to remain calm and composed. Reacting emotionally can give the saboteur the upper hand. Instead, focus on gathering evidence of their behavior. Keeping records of interactions and the outcomes can help you build a clearer picture of their intentions. This not only aids in identifying patterns, but also empowers you to address the situation more effectively. Consider discussing your concerns with a trusted mentor or supervisor. They can provide valuable perspective and support, and if necessary, intervene on your behalf. Reinforcing your boundaries is equally important. Politely but firmly decline advice or assistance from those you suspect of sabotage. Instead, seek guidance from those who consistently demonstrate genuine support for your growth. Ultimately, recognizing and addressing subtle sabotage is vital for maintaining your progress and well-being. By being mindful of the signs and taking proactive steps to protect yourself, you can navigate these challenges effectively. Remember, as Marcus Aurelius teaches, it's essential to be wary of those who smile to your face but plot against you. By paying attention to behavioral patterns, staying composed and reinforcing your boundaries, you can safeguard your journey towards success and fulfillment. This awareness allows you to foster a network of true allies who genuinely support and uplift you, creating an environment where authenticity can thrive. 8. Feigning Support while criticizing. One of the most deceptive manifestations of envy is when someone pretends to be supportive but is quick to criticize or undermine you in subtle ways. This behavior can be particularly confusing because it often blends kindness with negativity, leaving you unsure of their true intentions. They may compliment you on the surface while subtly questioning your decisions or casting doubt on your abilities. For instance, imagine sharing your new project with a colleague who, after offering praise, follows up with, but do you really think that will work? Or, I heard it's a tough market, you might want to rethink your approach. These comments may seem innocuous at first, but they can erode your confidence and make you second guess yourself. Stoicism teaches us to be aware of our responses to external opinions, especially when they are mixed with criticism disguised as support. The key is to recognize that their negative feedback is often rooted in their envy and insecurity, rather than any genuine concern for your success. By understanding this dynamic, you can maintain a more balanced perspective on your achievements and the feedback you receive. To handle feigned support effectively, it's essential to cultivate self-awareness and self-trust. Reflect on your capabilities and past successes, reinforcing your confidence in your judgment. This internal validation can serve as a shield against external negativity. When faced with undermining comments, consider responding with clarity and assertiveness. For example, you might say, I appreciate your concern, but I believe in my approach and am committed to making it work. Additionally, seek out feedback from trusted mentors or allies who genuinely support your goals. Their constructive criticism will be more valuable than the mixed messages from those who feign support. Establishing a network of individuals who uplift you can help you navigate criticism more effectively. As you encounter feigned support, remember that the opinions of others do not define your worth. Focus on your vision and the steps you need to take to achieve it. By remaining steadfast in your purpose and surrounding yourself with genuine supporters, you can create an environment that nurtures your growth rather than undermines it. In the long run, recognizing this behavior allows you to build resilience and maintain your focus on what truly matters. By choosing to rise above envy and negativity, you'll cultivate an authentic path to success, free from the distractions of insincere feedback. 9. 
projecting their own insecurities. Another powerful indicator of envy is when someone projects their own insecurities onto you. This occurs when they criticize or belittle you for qualities or achievements that they wish they had. For instance, if you're confident in your abilities, an envious person might accuse you of being arrogant. If you excel in your career, they may question your work ethic, suggesting that you don't deserve your success. This projection stems from their inability to confront their own feelings of inadequacy. Rather than addressing their issues, they deflect their insecurities onto others, often causing unnecessary emotional turmoil. It's a classic case of hurt people hurt people, where their unresolved issues lead them to lash out at those around them. To navigate these interactions, it's crucial to maintain a strong sense of self, recognize that their criticisms are more about them than they are about you. Remind yourself that your journey and achievements are valid, regardless of how others perceive them. Stoicism encourages us to focus on what we can control, our responses, beliefs, and attitudes. When confronted with projection, consider employing empathy. Understand that their behavior is rooted in their struggles, which can help you approach the situation with compassion rather than defensiveness. You might respond with kindness, saying something like, I appreciate your concern, but I'm really passionate about what I'm doing. This not only reinforces your confidence, but also opens the door for dialogue. However, it's equally important to set boundaries. If someone's projections become overwhelming or damaging, don't hesitate to distance yourself. Surrounding yourself with those who celebrate your strengths and encourage your growth can provide a much needed buffer against negativity. In essence, recognizing when someone is projecting their insecurities onto you allows you to navigate relationships more wisely. By focusing on your journey and surrounding yourself with positive influences, you can foster resilience and maintain your sense of self-worth, regardless of the opinions of others. 10. Competing for attention. The final point revolves around those who seem to compete for attention, often trying to overshadow your accomplishments. This can manifest in various ways, such as interrupting your conversations, one-upping your stories, or even trying to take credit for joint efforts. Their need for recognition and validation often stems from a deep-seated fear of being overlooked or unworthy. Imagine you've just shared a personal milestone, like a new job or an exciting project. Instead of celebrating with you, a friend quickly shifts the focus to their achievements, seeking to regain the spotlight. This behavior can leave you feeling sidelined and frustrated, especially if it becomes a pattern. Stoicism teaches us to remain centered in our own journey rather than getting caught up in the need for external validation. When faced with attention-seeking behavior, recognize that their actions are less about you and more about their insecurities. This understanding can help you detach emotionally from their need for attention. To manage these dynamics, practice assertiveness. When someone tries to overshadow you, gently steer the conversation back to a balanced exchange. You might say, I'd love to hear more about your experiences, but I also wanted to share this milestone. This approach emphasizes your achievements while inviting mutual sharing, fostering a more equitable dynamic. Additionally, focus on cultivating relationships with those who appreciate you for who you are and celebrate your successes without competing for attention. Building a supportive network can significantly enhance your well-being and reinforce your sense of self-worth. Ultimately, competing for attention is a behavior rooted in envy and insecurity. By maintaining a strong sense of self and setting healthy boundaries, 
you can navigate these interactions more effectively. Remember, true fulfillment comes from within, not from the fleeting approval of others. By celebrating your journey and the journeys of those around you, you contribute to a more positive and uplifting environment. Recognizing envy and falsehood in others is crucial for protecting your well-being and nurturing genuine connections. By understanding these signs and maintaining a stoic mindset, you empower yourself to rise above negativity. Surround yourself with supportive individuals who uplift you and stay focused on your personal growth. Ultimately, true strength lies in your ability to navigate challenges with grace and integrity, fostering an authentic path to success. If you'd like to delve deeper into any of these points or explore other topics, just let me know.